this city and this small town in Norway experiences six months of darkness. It's winter from September to March of every year, which basically sucks if you have seasonal affective disorder, acronym SAD. They decided to fix this with large mirrors that are powered by solar and wind to track where the sun is moving and reflect into the valley behind, well, they're, they're shadowed by a mountain. Yeah, so they're in a mountain valley, and because of where the sun, how low it is in the sky during the winter months, mm -hmm. it never peaks up over the mountain and shines it's on their little hamlet. It's just perfect so that they're in eternal darkness. Yeah. So they've decided to fix that. This r They've been planning on this since October 31st, 1913, and they implemented it on October 30th, 2013, so it's almost 100 years in the making. Wow. Yeah. I'm surprised they even had that technology 100 years ago. To they control. had the idea. Oh, right. But um, yeah, it's of course they weren't going to angle it that way. And now they're able, uh, the day that it happened, they all sat out. It was really cute. They all <laughs> sat out in the valley with a uh, sunblock and beach volleyball, and they were finally able to enjoy the sun, and it was beautiful. Now, um, don't get the idea that this is making the whole town illuminated in sunlight like no, it's the a sun normally would. It's like a small area. A small area gets direct light. 600 square meters in the but center of town. But around it, you get indirect sunlight, which is still pretty damn good compared to darkness all the time. I hope we could put some pictures up. It looks like there's just a great big spotlight on the center of town, and like everyone's crammed into that area playing volleyball and like sunbathing. No, they're around it. Keep in mind, it is still October in Norway, so they're freezing, mm -hmm. but they do get some direct sunlight. And which is nice. Sunlight. When I was a kid, I had always thought that I could light up a whole room with one Christmas light if I angled the mirrors correctly. I still think I can, which is why I find this story interesting. Hmm. I think that was in The Mummy or The Mummy Returns. Go down into a tomb and like the light comes in and they like one mirror, two mirrors, three mirrors, oh my god, the whole thing. Well, it kind of works, but um, they're not doing that. They're just reflecting uh, some large panels which follow where the sun's trajectory is. And I guess that big sunbeam moves around in the the town like a big magnifying glass chasing ants, but in a good way. In a good way. In a good way. The ants way. appreciate no it. No death ray. And the ants play beach volleyball.